Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to The Rock Plays. Although I'm not going to be playing anything today, this is going to be a rock review. I'm going to be reviewing Netflix's original Stranger Things. Now I'm going to make this review kind of short because the series itself is short and sweet. It has eight episodes total, which really drove me nuts at the end of it. I felt Watcher's remorse right away, like seriously, right away. Now, the story revolves around a little girl named Eleven and uh, three groups of friends. And it, the kid acting is ridiculous. I don't know where they found these kids, but kudos to you. Whoever uh, the casting director is or whoever the casting people are, uh, clap. I mean, congratulations. That, that is amazing casting. The, the adults, I've seen a couple of the adults, uh, mainly the sheriff and the bad guy. Um, I forget his name. But uh, the guy who kind of is Eleven's dad, um, he's, I've seen him in certain places. I'm sure you guys will notice too. He's one of those, that guy, that guy from the movies. Anyways, um, it revolves around the little girl who was experimented on in the womb, mind, mind you. Uh, so, oh, spoilers ahead, sorry. Um, I won't give away too much of the story. Anyways, um, she escapes from the facility. Uh, a boy goes missing. And now her and the three friends go hunting for this kid to figure out where the kid went. And the grown-ups also have their own investigation trying to find William. Uh, that's the main boy. Now, this movie, the cinematography is fantastic. It's one of the very first things I noticed was the framework of every scene. I mean, literally every scene is filmed damn near to perfection. There's no cutoffs of the characters, no cut anything that they wanted to be framed, you can tell it was on purpose. They have this sense of transition, the timing of the transitions down to a science. I mean, they do these transitions. Some of these transitions are really, really beautiful. Some of them are pretty generic and some of them are pretty cliched and we've seen before. But a lot of these are really good. This is the best Netflix series since Daredevil season one and two, according to me. I know some people will disagree with me, but yeah, this is, I'm a big superhero guy and I normally, I wouldn't put anything above superhero stuff, but watching this without bias is, this was an incredible watch for me. I'm an 80s kid. So everything in this film literally felt like I was in that time era. And that's a really difficult thing to pull off in, in a period piece, which is what this pretty much is, is a giant 80s period piece. You have toys from, you know, back in the 80s. You have games from back in the 80s. They mention Atari, they mention Star Wars. There's posters for uh, stuff that was out in the 80s, like The Thing, John Carpenter's The Thing, the original, which was fantastic. and. I can't reiterate enough how well written this series is. It has the time to flesh out these characters in such a way that allows you to connect with nearly everybody. And the biggest, biggest, most impressive thing that I can actually attest to this show's awesomeness is how well they wrote, I, I can't call him antagonist. The, the sheriff himself, he starts off antagonistic, so it's kind of like one of those, he's like a neutral character. Uh, he starts off acting like a douche, a complete douche. At some point, he doesn't even want to look for this kid. He just brushes it off like the mom is crazy. The mom is played by Winona Ryder. Really, he's just like, he's, he's a big city cop who lives in an, you know, old town and he just wanted the country life or whatever. And he suffered a traumatic thing that I'm not going to spoil. But it allows you to understand why he is the way he is, but you still don't like him going up until maybe episode three or four to when he actually starts finding out what's going on in the background and what happened to William and trying to actually figure out what happened to William and trying to find this kid and then finally empathizing with the mother, then there's this huge connection where he is completely redeemed. He turned from douche to awesome character. He's really intuitive. You find out he's really, really, really a good cop. Uh, he goes around investigating in civvy clothes, not telling people he's a police officer, you know, like in interrogating people, you know, the way the law wouldn't allow you to by any other means. But yeah, it, it is incredible how well, and he's not the only character they did it with. They did it with every antagonistical character that you might have thought was a douchebag at the very beginning. And then later they get redeemed, except the one exception is the bully. There's a couple of pair of bullies here. And I think it's just for the 80s trope. And that's one thing you'll find in this show is that there's a lot of 80s tropes to it. 
but not in that bad like oh man this is so like because you'll see cliches like left and right but i think that's that's done on purpose to stay close to the period piece including you know but not limited to teenage sex teenage drinking teenage partying it's kind of like a horror movie an 80s horror movie in that way this kind of combines a lot of my favorite stuff from when i was a kid it combines stuff from even now it's one of those things that's filmed in such a way that it feels like it was filmed in the 80s but it looks so good it looks so modern it looks so current and it still gives you that like it tr makes you travel back into that era and it is just amazingly filmed amazingly written amazingly directed uh amazingly acted i can't stress that enough you guys this is amazingly acted you guys have to watch stranger things if you haven't watched it watch it now stop listening to me stop watching me i'm not the only youtuber that said this literally go watch stranger things it is one of the best watches you will have this year it's probably going to be on my top 10 by the end of this december pending nothing else comes out to trump it <laughs> but um yeah there's there's no um there's no doubt in my mind that this is going to be on my top 10 list. This is an incredible, incredible watch. Binge watch it. I binged watch it this weekend and I totally felt awful right after because the season finale was incredible and it was epic. It was fantastic. Greatly written. Can't stress it enough. I give it, according to the Netflix rating, it only allowed me to give it five stars, but I would give it 10 if I could. So. Go on to Netflix if you have an account. If you don't have an account, open one up. And if you've never had an account, even better for you, get uh, open up an email account and get yourself a free month of Netflix and just watch this show. Just watch it. Watch it, you guys. I'm serious. Thanks for watching. It's always awesome. If you have any other uh, TV shows or Netflix series that you would like for me to review, leave them down in the comment section below. Now would be a good time to flick that thumbs up button and like the video if you liked it dislike it if you disliked it and subscribe if you can if you want i don't care i will catch you in the next one